What's up? <laughs> Welcome to Drew's Mixer channel. This video is going to be about Chroma King, or as Adobe puts it, uh, Ultra Key. Ultra Key! Adobe, you're being a little extra, okay? Well, anyway, I kind of want to go through both of the programs and see which one is faster to use, more accurate, and able to pick up and destroy the blemishes. Like, I can tell I have a little bit of a dark spot right here. So I'm seeing which program is able to, to kind of exclude those like little imperfections okay so let's get into it so let's just jump into it and let's just go let's just oh, let's just start it oh my god <laughs> all right here we go we got sony vegas on the left side and adobe premiere on the right so we're going to test first of all and second of all which one is faster to do i guess and the second part is which one uh looks better at the end okay so these are the same tracks i got my girl missone from uh, Dragon Pilot, she's she's number one bay, so she's gonna be uh, what we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna cr chroma key too. Okay, I wanna be uh, I wanna be uh, with her. Okay, <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, so first things first, to chroma key in Sony Vegas, you do the FX key, you go here to chroma key. -er. Okay, now is the fun part. Here we go. So first of all, you wanna get a spot where you can put this little ink dot and if you need to you can mute this track uncheck this and you can kind of really get in there and see which one is the best there we go. like that and another thing you can do is just kind of move this thing around until you're really blacked out now let's see here another, we're just gonna move that around a little bit okay all right, I'm gonna mess around with this and we'll come back. Okay, so I figured out my the, the color I need, okay? So after I did that, I went right here, okay? And what I've noticed is that really the best that Sony can do, or you know, the Vegas can do, is if it's at a 0.5 for the low threshold, that's kind of the golden. Now you could, if you wanted to, you know, I'm not, I'm not, there's no rules to this game, but you could do higher and lower if you wanted to and th that's with this slider right here and that makes it basically gives you a little bit more leeway with the 0.5 and then after 0.5 you start to kind of disappear so i like it at 0.5 it gives you some wiggle room the thr thr high threshold right here definitely makes you invisible but those blacks stay with you so you can notice my beanie on my hat is still there and um, yeah so I, I like it right about there you know, you know what right here you can't really tell but in the shadows a little bit it's just kind of going away so i like those two at 0.5 okay now the blur that doesn't do much all that does is make you blurry around your uh around the edges so you know what i do i just don't ever put that on if i do it's like maybe like a little bit but there's not really a good point to doing that i don't really like it um yeah okay so there we go that's our effect right here easy peasy and we're with our number one bay uh, misone okay easy peasy now let's go to adobe okay so this one's adobe and first thing i can tell you is it's called ultra key okay so it's ultra key not chroma key because you know adobe be adobe so you just take that drag it right here and on this left panel right here you see the ultra key okay so you can do key color and you, you do the eyedropper just like Sony and you, you know, you just want it like right around there. Okay. And you have a lot more options. Um, and I mean, I'm talking with, these are your main options right here. These three, the matte generation, matte cleanup and spill suppression. Color correction is just color correction for your actual beautiful face. So, Let's, uh, transparency, you probably know what that is, like, which part, so you kind of want it, like, pretty much at 50. Matter of fact, we'll go back to default. Now, highlights, default's 45, by the way. Okay. I'm going to mess with these, but basically, not looking good here. So, I guess we're going to have that at zero. Shadow. Now, I've had pretty good luck with shadow. But it, what it does is it makes my black, it makes your blacks weird and you can see that right in my hat here i'll even expand this a bit 
Now, look, look at my hat when I mess with uh, shadow here. It kind of gets all pixelated, but the shadows in the corners go away. So we're just going to put that around there so that my hat's not going too crazy. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, my hat's still crazy. Let's uh turn that down. Ooh, 60 is about all we can play with. Okay. So we're at 60 tolerance. Can't really tell anything with tolerance. Yeah, that that one's a little busted. Okay, pedestal. Okay, so we want that at a, at a hundred. All right, choke. I'm not sure what this does to be honest. Oh, that that, that kind of loosens up the edges. Kind of eats up, eats away the edges of yourself so that that green isn't showing. We can do that. We can just give her a little get get a little choke. Now soften does the opposite. Gives you a little glow. So we can just right there uh contrast let's see what that does not sure entirely what that does midpoint don't know what that is we'll put those two at default now spill suppression uh, that's like makes me black and white for some reason range yuck put that back spill let's see what that does squanto luma don't know what that does either and there you go and then we all only have color correction so let's let's see how the, the dope Now that's pretty good. I gotta say, um, yeah, of course, you, know, you see a little bit in the corners here, but it's not bad. Now let's uh, compare that directly to my uh, the other one here. And you can already see the edges are a little funny. And I have these both at full quality here. So the edges are a little funny. And let's go with this down here. But, Oh god, I don't know how to use Adobe. Freaking out. Okay. <laughs> okay. How do I get rid of this? There we go. Okay. Jeez, that was freaking out. There. Yeah. Okay. yep here it is the final um this is the best i could do on both sides here and we have the same frame and if you look at the differences here it's really negligible my hat still looks pretty good right here it gets a little strangly you can still kind of see the green screen on me no matter how much i blurred it and adobe definitely cut off a lot of my hair right here but i can't blame him for that you can see the green around the sides of my face here and i am starting to get invisible right there but for the most part, I'd say Adobe really nails it here because you don't see any of those green because it has that uh, that sharpen tool. So it really cuts around those edges. And I got to say, it was a lot faster than Sony, but I'd say both are pretty good. OK, but that's just the difference right here. It's that, you know, uh, you know, Sony's is just quick and quick and dirty and you got it done and it's relying a lot on you picking the right color um, Adobe has a lot more options kind of takes you a little longer, but it really helps you um, If you if you can't get that that all those colors, right? So Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say Adobe wins, but I mean they, they, there's good and bad here but I I will say in this particular frame I'm gonna give it to Adobe on this on this frame here, just because I don't like how I'm, I'm invisible here, even though I uh, really tried not to be. We, are, we can even do a last minute, try to help it out a little bit. No, 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 no. That's about it. That's all. That's all she wrote. Ooh. Yeah. It's about. It's it's about. It's about all, all all it can do. So if you're on a budget green screen, um, Adobe's gonna help you out. And Sony is going to be a little harder to work with, but I recommend both of these. I've, I'm, I'm using both of them. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Adi -adi -coo -coo. <laughs> All right. <good. laughs>